In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Be ready to set out at noon along the road that goes from Jerusalem down to Gaza, the desert road. So he set off on his journey. Now it happened that an Ethiopian had been on pilgrimage to Jerusalem. He was a eunuch and an officer at the court of the Kandake, or Queen of Ethiopia, and was in fact her chief treasurer. He was now on his way home, and as he sat in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit said to Philip, Go up and meet that chariot. When Philip ran up, he heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? How can I, he replied, unless I have someone to guide me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit by his side. Now the passage of scripture he was reading was this. Like a sheep that is led to the slaughterhouse, like a lamb that is dumb in front of his shearers, like these he never opens his mouth. He has been humiliated and has no one to defend him. Who will ever talk about his descendants since his life on earth has been cut short? The eunuch turned to Philip and said, Tell me, is the prophet referring to himself or someone else? Starting, therefore, with this text of scripture, Philip proceeded to explain the good news of Jesus to him. Further along the road they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is some water here. Is there anything to stop me being baptized? He ordered the chariot to stop. Then Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. But after they had come up out of the water again, Philip was taken away by the Spirit of the Lord, and the eunuch never saw him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Philip found that he had reached Azotus, and continued his journey proclaiming the good news in every town as far as Caesarea. The Word of the Lord Cry out with joy to God all the earth. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound of the God who gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Come and hear, all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud, with high praise ready on my tongue. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Blessed be God, who did not reject my prayer nor withhold his love from me. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord who hung for us upon the tree has risen from the tomb. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, 
No one can come to me unless he is drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God. And to hear the teaching of the Father and learn from it is to come to me. Not that anybody has seen the Father except the one who comes from God. He has seen the Father. I tell you most solemnly, everybody who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the desert, and they are dead. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that a man may eat it and not die. I am the living bread, which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, in our first reading, we see two people are connected together. One had an instinctive need. The other had an intuitive gift from God. This meeting led to one being converted to the faith. Was it a coincidence? Perhaps not. Because in our gospel today, Jesus tells us that no one can come to him unless the Father draws them to him. Jesus wasn't just making a statement about himself. Rather, he was speaking about God's grace and conversion. Our conversion does not happen by chance. By His grace, God initiates our conversion by drawing us to Him through Jesus. The story of Philip being called to set off on a road journey shows us that God was already drawing the Ethiopian eunuch to conversion before he even met Philip. But of course, every action of God requires our willingness to cooperate with him. Although it was the eunuchs who asked Philip to baptize him, but Philip's willingness to act upon the promptings of the Holy Spirit to go on a journey allowed the Lord to link them up together to see to the eunuch's need for some spiritual instructions and inspire him to conversion. Therefore, sisters and brothers, our readings today point out that it is God who is always on a lookout for us, drawing us to Him through a personal conversion. Our personal conversion is often brought about through the conflicts we go through in life and the different circumstances of life we are in. But from my own experience, I believe nothing happens by chance. Everything happens to us for a good reason. Furthermore, when Jesus said, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven, Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. He is reminding us that His body and blood in the Eucharist gives us the grace to live. Like the Ethiopian eunuch who went on a pilgrimage with a need, 
our conscious effort to celebrate the Eucharist is our pilgrimage moment to seek God's grace. When we put ourselves before the Lord, we set ourselves in the path of His grace to prompt others to come to our aid when we are in need. Finally, my dear sisters and brothers, the Eucharist is our spiritual food that nourishes us with divine grace to act under the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Like Philip, we are called to ready ourselves to act promptly when the Lord initiates a thought in us. And oftentimes, it is a call for us to be hospitable and be of help to someone, be it a stranger, a colleague, or a friend in need. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.